Today we're going to learn how to count by ones all the way up to 1,000. That's right, 1,000 is the number we're aiming for today. But we're going to do it in a special way that looks at patterns in numbers. And by the way guys, I'm going to be focusing a lot on patterns this year because it's one of those things where if you get good at recognizing patterns, you will eventually become good at doing math because math is just a bunch of patterns that you're using. So um, let's let's take a look at this here. We have a numbers chart and there are patterns in this number chart we're going to be looking at. For example, here's the first pattern. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And if you ignore this one over here, you get 0. And then the second row, if you ignore all these first numbers, you see these second ones here, you get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0. And then the third row, you get the same thing, 1, 2, 3, all the way up to 9, and then 0. And you see this pattern repeating over and over and over again. So let's do this on our own. On a sheet of paper, uh, if you have a grid paper, that's even better. But if you don't, don't worry about it. Just write the numbers 1, 2, 3, all the way to 9, and then write 0 at the end. And then make a couple more, or a few more rows after it, and repeat the same pattern. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and then 0. So when you're done that, we'll move on to the next step. Um, by the way, um, if you don't have grid paper and you're writing this on just normal paper, just make sure the numbers line up. So all the ones line up, all the twos line up, uh, like that. That's important to keep things organized. Now let's see part two of the pattern. Find the first zero. Where's the first zero on this chart? Well, it's uh, where it's right there. Beside the first zero, you're gonna write a one. Makes sense, right? First zero, one. So let's do that. So I'm going to change colors here. So let's put let's put a one here by the first zero. And then let's see what's what else is happening. So after you write one by the first zero, look at the numbers that follow. They all have ones in front. So one, 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 all the way up to here. And then once you get to the second zero, you write a two. Makes sense, right? Second zero, two. So let's do that. Let's write ones all the way up until we get to the zero, and then we'll put a two beside it. So we'll fill this all with one, 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 all the way up to here, and then the number changes at the zero. So instead of a one, you write a two. You know what? I'm going to... Let's make this uh, a different color, the next set of numbers. So the twos are going to be blue. Now, you can probably figure out the pattern after here, but let's take a look at it anyways. After you write a two, look at the numbers that follow. They're all two, 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 all the way up till you get to the this area. And then once you get to the zero, it changes from a two to a three. So doing that on our chart, we're going to write twos after here, two, 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 and just go along the way. Now here's the important part. Once you get to the zero, the number changes from a two to a three. And again, we'll change colors here. And you know what? If you have colored pencil, pencil crayons, do this in pencil crayons. It keeps things a little more organized and change the color every time you get to a zero. And now we don't have to look at the chart anymore. We can just fill this all in. Three, three. Three, three, and then what do you think happens here? That's right. You put you put a four, and here let's do let's do purple, like that. And once you do this, you can keep this pattern alive and continue all the way to the bottom, and even more if you had another chart. So we get the numbers to ten. And then we say 11, 12, 13, and this is 20. And here are all the 20s, 21, 22, 23. And then you get to the 30s and so on. And that's how numbers are built. So if you understand this pattern, the fact that you have the 1 to the 0 in every row, when you get to the first 0, you write a 1, and then write 1s after it, until you get to the second zero, then you write a 2, and so on. If you understand this pattern, let's do it in a little more advanced method. So I'm going to erase this. And instead of starting at the number 1, let's do some practice problems that are a little more, 
little bit more challenging. So let's put uh, let's put a nine. So we get the number ninety one. So what does the pattern tell us? It tells us that if that's a nine, we're going to fill all these up with nines. like that. And once you get to the zero here, you don't write another nine. What do you do? You change it from a nine to a 10. And then what does that number say here? It says 100. And then we continue the pattern. We write tens over here, 10, 10. So go ahead. Notice how I changed the color here. I didn't keep the same color because I want you to see the difference between the last digit and the numbers that are in front of it because the pattern is is, is you know you have to apply it to these two situations here so um, once you get to the end over here you're, you're gonna get to the zero you're gonna write a 10 right no you don't write a 10 because you reached a zero so we change the 10 into an 11 Hey, let's do What's a good color? Let's let's do um, let's do red again, like that. So notice the colors only change, or I mean the numbers in front here only change once you get to this area. So now you wrote an eleven here. What are you going to write over here? Twelve, right? No, you don't write a twelve. Don't 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 do a twelve over here. That's not the right area. You keep the eleven alive. So you write eleven, eleven, eleven. 11, just like that. You see what happened? I made a mistake somewhere. See if you can figure it out. It's right here. I shouldn't write an 11 here because that's where the numbers change. So I should write it into, I should make it into a 12. Like that. So I hope you're, you're uh, getting a sense of this pattern here. It's not a complicated pattern, and you know, you can build all the numbers up to a million if you wanted to with this. Just keep increasing these numbers and let the numbers grow. Okay, here's one for you to try. Um, let's do, hey, you know, let's do this. Let's put, let's put a 19. So we have 191, 192, 193, 194, 195. What are we going to do with this 19? We're going to continue it. So we'll write 19 on all of these until you get to that zero again. Then the 19 changes. What does it change into though? Changes into a 20. Now what does that number say? It says 200. And then continue the pattern. You're going to write 20, 20, 20, all the way up to the end. 20, and then what happens at that zero? Changes to a 30, right? No, it doesn't change to a 30. Changes from a 20 to a 21, like that. So the numbers are always increasing by one. So here's another practice for you. Let's put the number... 99 here. That's right, 99, Wayne Gretzky. Here's 99. Continue the pattern on your own. Pause the video, and then when you're done, and I want you to continue up to here. When you think you're finished, and fill all these numbers in all the way up to here, then restart the video and check your answer. Okay, pause it. Okay, we're back. You should have done this. You should have wrote 99 on all of these. 99 and then when you got to here you should have wrote 100 so that makes the thousand this is the number that we were aiming for 1000 but you know what it's not good enough for us we're gonna keep going past the thousand and 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 kind of uh, going into forbidden territory so from a hundred you're gonna you should have wrote a hundred on all of these 100 100. And then when you got to the zero here, you should have changed it into 101. And then all these are going to be 101. Now, if you can't read these numbers, if you have a hard time reading them, 
Don't worry too much about it yet because we're going to do a lesson, a few lessons from now on, how to read numbers like, like this. And then right here, you should have wrote 102. Now, I'll give you a little preview first. I mean, this says 1,000. This says 1,001, 1,002, all the way to 1,010, and then 1,011, 12, 1,013, all the way to 1,020. Okay, here's the next question. Here you're going to practice counting backwards. So I'm going to write somewhere in the middle, and you're going to go backwards to the beginning. And let's do it over here. Let's put, let's put, um, let's put 30. So this number says 307. And I want you to write backwards all the way till you get to this point here. Okay? So what's going to happen here is you're going to keep the 30 right here. 30, 30. And then over here, you're going to you're not going to change it to 29 yet because the number changes in this zone. It changes from here to there. So you're going to write 29 over here. Let's do that in green. Let's go 29. So notice again, if you go forwards, if you're going this direction, then it goes from a 29 to a 30 in this zone. Okay, that's the important thing. You have to, this is so important. You got to change the numbers in this zone here only. So then you can go backwards and, and continue with the 29 here. Okay, um, keep going it backwards now and, and, and write, num write the answers in all the way up to here. And then pause the video right now, finish it on your own, and then come back when you're ready. All right? Okay, we're back. So you should have done this. You should have wrote 29s on all of these. And even that is a 29. And then once you get here, it becomes a 28. Let's do purple. Go 28. Oops. 28. So that says 289. And again, the number only changes in this area from a 28 to a 29. And then keep going backwards. This is, this is also 28. So there you have it. How to make numbers all the way to 1,000. Now, get really comfortable using this number grid system, and I promise you, numbers will just be so much easier to use um, when you get rid of this grid system. See you in lesson two.